Um, I just wanted to say something that we got for a letter that came from DES that I know that the town probably already does this thing, yeah. does this already, but I want to highlight a couple things as far as we're talking about, you know, revisiting our fees and rates that we charge people. Yep. Well, this is a letter from the Department of Environmental Services to all places that have a wastewater treatment plant, owners, ethics, and responsibilities. Yeah. And 4, 5, and 11. Uh, four, the owner shall distribute funds into a capital reserve plan for future needs and replacement or upgrades, which we started doing with the, the SOAR maintenance fund, right? Would that fall mm -hmm. under that? Yeah. And then number five, the owner shall develop a rate and fee structure to cover all costs associated with the operation and maintenance of its system components. So I think that's going to be covered fairly well. We're working with Wright Payas Town Management to go, to assess the town and what we can do to maybe get some additional fee and can come in mm -hmm. since we have all these expenses that are sort of hurling yeah. us all at one time and number 11 if applicable the owner shall develop an industrial pretreatment program for commercial industrial or institutional users connected to the system mm -hmm. so mary louise brought that up tonight and i mean again this is not I just want to make sure that when people, when we start doing this, this is not anything to single out businesses or companies right. or organizations that want to yeah. no. come and do business in Hampton. This is just the way, this is part of business. This is how we need to operate. Yeah. Expenses always go up. <coughs> Chairman Waddell said 4%, you know, for a budget increase one year, 5% another year. That's never going to go away. The only way you can offset it is with additional revenue. Yeah. And we have DES telling us to do what we've already do or are going to do, so that's good news. Good. 